It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we've got a beer from Brewery Hugh. And if you've not heard of this brewery, you might have heard of one of their beers. They brew the beer with a pink elephant on the front, the Delirium Tremens. Probably Belgium's most famous beer. If I go to Cardiff for a beer, I've never drank it because it's like 8 or 9% and I'm always drinking the Weiss beer. But if I go to the head of steam in Cardiff, they've got it on tap. Brewery Hugh, Delirium Tremens, on keg. It's <laughs> blooming marvellous. Um, well, maybe maybe if I go to the head of steam for my birthday, maybe I'll finish the night off with a, with a pink elephant beer. But just on a normal weekend, <laughs> uh, maybe I should man up and get on with it, shouldn't I? Uh, anyway, uh, this is called Beer de Corsair by Brewery Hugh. It's a curvy special at 9.4% ABV. 9.4% ABV, so even stronger than Delirium Tremens. Uh, we got a brown bottle with a... Ooh, look at that. Gold bottle cap. Yes, this should be very good. This should be very, very good. Uh, the beer's been out of the fridge about uh, what, 30 minutes, so it's had time to warm up a little bit. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So what style of beer is this? They've called it a curvy special. For me, in terms of if you want to put it in a bracket, if you want to label a style on it, then you're probably looking at Belgian triple. You're probably looking at the Belgian triple style of beer. One finger, white head, good levels of slow moving carbonation. The beer rises from the bottom of the glass. It's a hazy straw coloured beer, but it looks very good. Uh, let's get the aroma. Oh, it's got all those wonderful, just those wonderful Belgian touches that you come to expect from a really good Belgian beer. Estery slightly spirity pear like a like a dry slightly furry pear bit of lemon peel bit of orange peel peppery spicy oh Gets me really excited, really ex excited to get my nose into a beer like this. I hope beers like this stay around forever. I hope. Because of course there's always an attack in there on, we've had a bit of a tough year in the UK 2023. We've had like lots of breweries lowering the ABV of their beer. We've had lots of breweries reducing the size of their kind of cans and bottles. And you know, it changes the beer. It, it would be absolutely fantastic if Belgium bucked the trend and said, no, nope, we're sticking with our strong beer. Thank you very much. This beer is available from our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. If you love beer, if you've traveled abroad, if you worked away and you found that really lovely beer that you love, you can't find it in the UK, and there's a chance you can find it at beersofeurope.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. Let's get in, cheers. Mm. Oh. oh, stone the crows. Stone the crows. You're hit initially 
with this rush, this rush of carbonation that just hisses and fizzes on the palate and pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. There's so much going on. Belgian candied fruit. Belgian candied sugar. It's sweet. It is sweet, but it's dry at the same time. You're getting lots of that kind of prickly pear, that dry, slightly furry pear. Oh, there's a touch of as the beer slides down the throat into the pit, pit of the stomach, you're getting that kind of 9.4% ABV, most definitely. Oh, it's great. And you could, well, you just heard that carbonation coming right back. It will come right back at you. Well, it'll make its way out of your body somehow, drinking lots of carbonation. Oh, that is just fantastic. Do you know, there's flavours in that beer that I can't even describe. There's flavours in that beer that I'm going, I'm always, I'm always like almost trying to like kickstart my brain and there's something, it's, it's floral, it's peppery, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's dry, it's drinkable, it's refreshing. There's a little kick of alcohol. There is so much going on. There's like orange peel, lemon peel, like you're sucking on lemon peel or orange peel. Ah, oh, so fantastic. And here's the thing. I'll mention it again. It's 9.4% ABV. Phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal. Oh, just, I almost went into a daydream. I almost forgot I was recording and just floated away into a daydream. Skip back 10 seconds of the video. Watch me. My eyes are kind of just, kind of just staring away into the distance. And you can only do that with a great beer. You can only kind of reflect on life and reflect on, like, dream away with a, with a brilliant kind of, dreamy beer like this. It, this is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Whew. I like that kind of pirate theme as well. Lots of pirate theme stuff in in Belgium. I would love to know why. I would love to know. Maybe they were a maritime, but they're landlocked, didn't they? I'm pretty sure Belgium is a landlocked country. Uh, so, the, but whenever you, you see a lot of kind of maritime stuff going on in Bar Belgium, I don't know. I'd love to know in history why is there so much kind of maritime pirate stuff going on with Belgian beer? Uh, maybe they just dream of it because they're landlocked. I'm looking for some British ingredients: uh, brewed with water, barley malt, sugar maize, rice, oats, hops and yeast. Wow. Rice, oats, hops and yeast. So the rice is making it clean. Do you know I was talking about how clean the beer is, how drinkable the beer is? That's the rice. But at the same time, the oats is giving it a little bit of creaminess. This is a brilliant beer. Brilliant, brilliant, strong ale. Triple fermented. Belgium, Belgium, probably triple, I'd say. Absolutely stone the crows, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.